Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly review of my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. Balance on the account is $131,328.86. Let's go ahead and look at the performance for the past week. Overall, it was green technically, but barely. The portfolio was up 0.07% or $97.97. VU was down, if we look at the hold-ins, there's two hold-ins, VU is the first one, it was down 0.43% or $289.45, and SEHD was up 0.60% or $387.42, so this week SEHD saved the portfolio a bit, but last week, ooh, did it give it a nosedive, boy, it was rough last week, but this is where I stand right now. Let's go ahead and look at the deposits for the past week. There was a couple starting on May 27th. I put in $125. It got traded. It all went to VU and I got 0.25 shares. Then on May 30th, I put in $25 and it all went to VU and I got 0.05 shares. And then later that day on May, no, next day on May 31st, I put in another $25 and it all went to VU and I got 0 0.05 shares. So the same amount, which makes sense. So for the week I deposited, let's see if I can do the math, $175. So not a large amount of money uh, in terms of deposit for the week, but I do the best I can. And as you see here, as I find $25, I just chuck it into the portfolio as often as I can. But again, this week I was only able to put in $175. And if we just look at the recap, so started the week at a balance of $131,055.89. I put in $175, which we just reviewed, and then the gain of $97.97 is what brings the portfolio balance up to $131,328.86. If we look at the overall hold-ins, the portfolio is up 7.7%, or $9,383.97. VU is overall up 9.19% or $5,603.83. SEHD was up is is up 6.2% or $3,780.14. So there's definitely a clear difference in the gains from VU versus SEHD. But I still really love SEHD, so I don't plan to get rid of it. It's definitely going to be a staple in my portfolio forever. But I do think as time goes on, I'll just change the portfolio allocation to lean more towards VU than SCHD. And what I mean by that, if we just go back to the main page, you see here right now I have VU. VU is right now technically 50.6% of the portfolio, but I want it to be 60% of the portfolio. And then SEHD is 49.3% of the portfolio, but I want it to be 40%. So that essentially means that probably for a while, my future deposits will all go towards VU to get it up to 60%. But I think once I get close to 60%, let's say once it's like at 56 or 57%, I'll probably bump it up to 70 so that, again, VU would be 70% and SCHD would be 30%. So not selling off my balance at all for SCHD, just keeping it where it's at, but just putting all the future money towards um, VU. And I think where I'll ultimately, ultimately land is 80% VU and 20% SCHD. Because again, I do still think SCHD is a solid um, ETF. And I love the dividends that I get paid out from it. What else? The upcoming trade for next week. So I have $125 going in for next week. And it is all going to go towards VU. That is all of the update for this week. I'm really hoping the stock market will bounce back <laughs> for the month of June. 
so that the gosh, I would love to see this balance go up to 135, you know, by the end of June, but that has a lot to do with the stock market as well as my deposit. I I do feel fairly confident that I'll be able to put another large deposit for the month of June in the portfolio, but would love if the stock market worked with me as well to see if we can get this balance up to 135,000 or more by end of June. All right, that is all of the update I have for this week. Let me know how your investing has been coming along. I know several of you have been sharing with me different holdings that you have in your portfolio. Let me know how they're performing. I I don't think I'll change out anything. I'm very happy with VU and SCHD, even though my returns aren't as high as I want them to be. Um, definitely won't be selling either of them and honestly I'm not interested in adding anything else to the portfolio but I'm always open to learning so let me know maybe you have you know ETF or a stock that is doing amazing um, and I'm always curious to to watch other people's journey too so let me know how in the comments how you're progressing but this is where I am for this week and I'll catch you next week bye